Hello, today I show you small parts of a Guatemalan lifestyle. Enjoy my video and have fun at the fish farm. Behind me, the building, that's the border. So I get my stamp and then I cross the border to Guatemala. I just passed the two buildings, like where the truck is behind me, that's the immigration. And yeah, I'm in Guatemala now here. But there's really nice people that just bought a washing machine in Belize and they brought it here. And um, they're taking me, um, which is really nice, um, to, to the place where I want to go for my couch surfing house. I'm going today with Maria to a typical day in Guatemala, so I'm going to work with her. But first, we get our fresh handmade tortillas Hola. from our neighbors. <laughs> Take us to work now. What do you typically, typically do like, you're during your day? What is your job? Uh, my typical day is go to the farms and visit like a fish farm mm -hmm. and teach them how to raise fish, how to sell the fish also, and like a techniques because I work as an aquaculture technology person. Okay, thank you. There's going a big competition on today. Who is giving the best mood? So Maria, thank you that I can join your working day today. Yes, today is a very special day. Uh, as you can see today, um, many people bring the cows, bring sheep, bring like a fish, and we uh, set up a stand mm -hmm. and we tell people how to. We introduce the the farmers that ah, okay. they wants to start like a fish farm. Hey, thank you. <coughs> After this special working day, I'm gonna show you a way of living in Guatemala. Living room. This is basically the room of the little kid, and that's where I was staying. Then we have a bathroom. Living. So that's the bathroom basically. Just cold water. I love the mirror. That's a great one. And so we continue to the kitchen. Hello, Maria. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. We are cooking some plantain, Guatemala plantain. That looks amazing. Yes. One of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in America, it's Flores, with its old town located on an island in Lake Petinitza. It's an exquisite example of Guatemalan culture and heritage. I'm leaving Flores right now. I'm going for a fish farm. Actually, I wanted to do an internship for a social project, but yeah, it ended up to be a fish farm. So basically, I arrived at the fish farm. I think it's like this way. Now I'm eating, um, like, I think it's called tamarinda or something like that. Like, actually, it's a tamale. Dough in inside is like tomato sauce and chicken, which is really typical, and that's a banana leaf around. The people I hijacked from my house were stayed with Maria. Um, they gave it to me, so I'm trying this now. It looks basically like this, and it's really tasty. And I think it's there are beans inside and some seasoning. I got involved in the fish farm project to gain new impressions in new fields. The farm is located near Flores in a rural region. Hola. Nice that I can <laughs> stay with you. And um, I'm going to learn in the next days, weeks, whatever, about fish. The main project for this week is basically cleaning this pool. Because it's really dirty. There's someone on a mission to find that fish. <laughs> cleaning the pools is a daily repetitive task in the fish farm. The fish are taken out of the water with nets and sieves. The eggs are removed from the mouse and are placed separately. After removal, the fish are separated according to the sex and breed and transferred to a new tank with con specific of the same size. In this basin are basically 30,000 fish. I don't know if you can see them. We have a uh, guapote, is the name, this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a cannibal uh, fish, okay? Look like this. Huh? Oh, okay. I see. He has really sharp teeth. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's so small, but it's really, really sharp. Yes. Look. Luckily, I'm not a fish. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, but wow. 
he lives from the sums of this tilapia. Oh. This is tilapia. Morning. So it's my third day at the farm, and um, I just wanted to give a little update. So we we're working every day, like no weekend. It's from seven in the morning to to about six in the evening. And um, yeah, it's not hard work. It's actually easy. We take care of the fish. You you check the production. You check the baby fish. You feed them. You uh, grind the food. Or um, selling fish. When customer are coming, um, we're doing a big lunch break. It, basically, we're doing a lot of breaks. Like it's really no not how it work. It's just like it's every day. So I have to get ready. I'm gonna brush my teeth now and then. See you there. So we're preparing the food for the baby fish. We have testosterone here. So we put the testosterone with two liter of alcohol together and then we mix it with the food. So they grow, grow quicker and get stronger and they're quicker ready to eat. These fish are hungry. Two people came here on the farm to ask if you want to have a COVID vaccination for free. They also offered it to me, but I'm okay for now. Do you want to get a COVID vaccination today? No. Okay, so Frita. now we're going to eat a tilapia. Tilapia frita. Frita. <laughs> see? Okay. Gracias. Um, let's see how it tastes, what we sell every day. This friend is pretty good. <laughs> so we do some fish delivery <laughs> to a store, a local store. So he brings them alive. And that's the store. While I stay on the farm, I have the opportunity to stay and live on the farm and live with the family, which was super cool for me. And now I'm going to show you our home. A little insight to my life. That's my bed where I'm living. So it looks like kind of typical here, the bathroom um, looks like this. So we have running water, which is amazing because the shower with the bucket is yeah, not the most comfortable. But look, it has here you can open it and then you have here the shower. It's great. I love it. So the flush works with the bucket too. So running water works like here on this top. Only the shower, it's the water from the river. And yeah, that's the house.